Shalom. Kal halalium la yahweh b'chasham shal yahweh shai b'chasham rakakudash, which is ancient pale Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh the Heavenly Father's holy name, in the Hebrew tongue, whereby which we must be saved or we can be saved, in the name of Yahweh shai his son's only Hebrew name, whereby we must pray to as well. In order to be saved in the Holy Spirit or Kakodash, the wisdom and understand these holy scriptures, whereby we must also pray to Him in the in the Spirit to receive salvation. All right, I will honor the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to the hundred and four to hundred and four four thousand men, the sincere Akim that's pushing the, the, the truth, and the few sincere Akwats out there. Right. I wanna say to Adi how Bashim you should have put in the spirit I made do this lesson. Alright. This is um this lesson is entitled You know, we shall we will be visited by the angels of Yahweh. And you know, we gotta know the word in order to differentiate it, differentiate you know, um, if it's a if it's a left hand angel or right hand angel, right, we'll be visited. And I guess you can see this lesson was inspired by a brother that shared his night vision here in our camp, Bardania. And um, to be honest, you know, I love I love when I get dreams, but I don't really go too deep into them anymore because, um, you know, a precept dreams of the fool, but if I'm led by the spirit, I uh, try to spiritually dissect them. So here we go. All right. This is First Samuel chapter 3, verse 1. And the child Samuel ministered unto Yahweh before Eli, and the word of Yahweh was precious. In those days there were there was no open vision right but in these times there is a open vision but the word of Yahweh is precious to those that are called all right it says and it came to pass at that time when Eli was laid down in his place and his eyes began to wax dim that he could not see Ere the lamp of the Mosai went out in the temple of Yahweh, when the ark, when the ark of the Mosai, what well, it's like a where the ark of the Mosai was, and Samuel was laid down to sleep. <laughs> that Yahweh, that that Yahweh called Samuel and answered, "Here am I." And he ran to Eli and said, "Here am I, for thou callest me." And he said, I call not, lie down again. And he went and lay down. Yeah, so sometimes even when we're, we're awake, we would hear you know, voices leading us in the spirit. It's not like, it's not like a, you know, some of us would hear a, a literal voice shouting us so forward. You know, Esau would say schizophrenia or whatever, but it's left hand and right hand angels. Delivering messages, all right? I have the plague in you or blessing you. All right? It says... Yeah, in Mary back 5, and, and he laid, and he ran unto Eli and said, Here am I, for thou callest me. And he said, I called not, lie down again. And he went and laid down. And Yahweh called yet again, Samuel. And Samuel arose and went to Eli and said, Here am I, for thou didst call me. And he answered, I called not my son, lie down again. Now the now, now Samuel did not know Yahweh, neither was the word of Yahweh revealed unto him. Alright. It says Yahweh. Yeah, so you don't want to be in that in that stage whereby the word of Yahweh or certain certain knowledge and wisdom would not reveal unto you, and you can't differentiate between Lafani and 
the sign and um, Ray Tiny Angels. Slack you. Slack you. It says, Verse 8. And Yahweh called Samuel again at the, the third time, and he arose and went to Eli and said, Here am I, for thou didst call me. Thou didst call me. And Eli perceived that Yahweh had called a child. Therefore Eli said unto Samuel, Go lie down and sit. Go lie down, and it shall be, if he call thee, Thou shalt say, Speak, Yahweh, for thy servant heareth. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. And, and Yahweh came and stood and called as at other times. See, the angel presented himself. This is not literally Yahweh, because scripture says no one has seen or heard the, the father at any time and lived. And called as at, as at other times when Samuel then Samuel answered, Speak, for thy servant heareth. And Yahweh said to Samuel, Behold, I will do a thing in Israel, at which both ears of the people that one that heareth, and it shall tingle now. Um, honestly, Samuel wasn't sleeping, but if he had slept, the same thing would have happened, right? Just as it happened to... Uh, you know, the pet, the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But, you know, just an example that, you know, before you went to sleep, the Spirit of the Lord could come upon you, put you in a trance, you know, and deliver messages to you, show you certain parabolic visions, and so forth. Um, but this one here is a dream for sure. This is uh, Job chapter 4, verse 12. Now a thing was secretly brought on, brought to me, and and mine ear receive, and mine ear receive a little thereof. In the thoughts of in the thoughts from the vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men. All right, so visions of the night talking about dreams. Fear come upon fear came upon me, and trembling, which made all my bones shake, and spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. Yeah, and that's an angel coming in his, in his glory. All right. And I stood up. It stood still, but I could not discern the form thereof. An image was before mine eyes, and there was silence, and I heard a voice saying. All right. Sometimes they won't reveal themselves physically, but they're, they're, uh, they're, they're energy, you know. The presence, I guess you can see, the vibration is is present is, is felt in the room. Yeah, sometimes when I'm walking home, I could feel like a presence around me, and I just say, you know, shallow mock because you know, you know, you know, Jake live in certain neighborhoods and so forth. It says, uh, "Shall a mortal man be more just than the Most High? Shall a man be more pure?" Like it than his maker. Behold, he put no trust in his servants and his angels, he charged with folly. So, this angel was delivering a message to one of Job's friends. You know? And, um, I could read more, but that's pretty much about it. So, my brothers, you know, just study, study. If the Spirit leads you to study on the angels and study the word so that. And when these angels visit us, whether we, or whether we, before we go to sleep or while we're sleeping, you know, I just, uh, you know, that's why we should always say our prayers before we go to sleep. Even if it's a short prayer, you know, a prayer doesn't have to be lengthy, like scripture said, with much babbling, they, you know, they think they will be heard because of much speaking, you know. Give the most high thanks for mercy and so forth and protection. Like, yeah, and asking for um, prophetic dreams, you know. 
You know, with that, I pray that this lessons what I find. I just want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rukakwadash, Shemar Kazak, Bahamatha, Kiamia.